Veterans exposed to burn pits, Agent Orange, and other toxic substances are nearly out of time to apply for expanded federal benefits. Yeah, the deadline to receive retroactive compensation under the PACT Act is midnight, and you can still apply online. As KATV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports, it's still important to apply even after tonight. Nebraska Army National Guard Sergeant Dusty Von Lowe spent a year avoiding roadside bombs, escorting convoys in Iraq in 2006. I remember whenever I talked to him, he talked about the smoke hovering over the camp, and um, it was just, that's his number one complaint was the smoke. What he and his wife Heather didn't realize, it was the toxins coming from those burn pits that would kill him two years after coming home. He was 24 years old. I remember rubbing his shoulder and I thought it was a knot. Well, that was actually um, the cancer is what the doctor told me. It was after he died that his doctor was able to trace the first cancer cells starting in Iraq, allowing his family to receive service-connected benefits. And it was months before we finally got approved. That's hopefully changed. Congress passed the PACT Act, which adds a list of conditions now presumed to be caused by exposure to the substances, streamlining the process. It's unfortunate that their conditions weren't recognized, you know, 10, 20 years ago, um, but the fact that they are now is, is just phenomenal. The executive director for the VA regional office in Lincoln says the law also allows veterans and their spouses one opportunity to retroactively receive an extra year of benefits, but the deadline to apply is August 9th, tonight. We can still grant benefits um, for um, PACT Act conditions, but we have to do so from the date of application. We can't go back to that one year period of time. And even after the deadline, both Witte and Von Lowe urge service members and veterans to apply and more importantly, get screened. Go get screened. I mean, if you feel like there's something wrong, then more than likely there is. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.